These are just for me to hold your ear. That's all they do, okay? What'd you say? Nothing to Hannah. Oh, what did Hannah say? She said it, it's actually come to her house. Oh, and what did you tell her? Um, I'm about to get my ears pierced. Oh, you're about to get your ears pierced? Is that so? I'm about to get my ears pierced. <laughs> you hear this child? You really want to go get your ears pierced? <laughs> Your hair is so beautiful. You have nail polish in your hair. Oh no. How did you do that? What's up fam? Good morning. Today, I I think it's the day. As many of you guys know, Addie has been asking to get her ears pierced for the last, oh gosh, six months probably. Like it's been a long, long time since she started asking for her ears to be pierced. She swore up and down that she wanted to do it, even though I explained to her several times that it is going to be a little, little bit painful. And that's gonna get a little, a little hot. Yeah, a little tiny hole. And then you will have- Like Hannah. Like Hannah <laughs> and like Sissy. <laughs> She's had this obsession with it and I didn't think that at because it was she was two when she started asking for it and at the time I was like I don't know if two is too young but she like fully I mean how much can you really understand at age two I don't really know but she seemed to fully understand what was going on she fully understood what it meant to have your ears pierced how it happened and she didn't care she wanted it anyway so me and Chris talked about it we decided that when she turned three we would consider it she's now three and four months old, three years and three months old. She kind of forgot about it for a little bit there and she wasn't asking for it a whole lot. So that's why we've kind of like put it off. But this last like mm, couple weeks, again, every single day, she's been like, I want to get my ears pierced. Can I please get my ears pierced? I want to get my ears pierced. So I decided to do it. I decided to let her get her ears pierced. So a little backstory on ear piercing. When I had Lilia, I decided to get her ears pierced when she was like two months old. At the time, I didn't know much about it. I was like, oh, I have a girl. I'm gonna pierce her ears. And that's just what you do, right? That's what I thought. So when she was two months old, I took her to the mall into Claire's and I paid some girl who had this little machine gun thingy, machine gun, oh my God, <laughs> ear piercing gun thing. They pierced her ears and that was the end. I brought her a little immunization record and that's what we did. And I mean, I didn't know that that was apparently, you're, that's like, it's not a good thing to do. At that moment, I learned that piercing your ear with a gun is very risky. It's like um, you open yourself up to a higher chance of having an infection, um, not to mention a lot of the times it comes out crooked. A lot of the times the people that are doing it, I mean, I, I don't know this, this is just what people were saying in my comments, but they were saying that they're not trained properly, all these things. And so when I found out that I was having another girl, I decided, you know what, like same thing with my stance on circumcision, like her body, her choice, his body, his choice. And I, I kind of opened my eyes to it because before I didn't really think about it, you know, I was just, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't want to blame it on being young, maybe more so like a first time mom and not really researching things that I didn't think was a big deal. I think this is the perfect example of you live and you learn as a mom. And a lot of people don't think it's a big deal to get their ears pierced. But I have since then done my research and I have um, chosen to let my kids make those decisions when it comes to their body and it's not a medical emergency. When it comes to things that are not medically necessary, something that is more of a cosmetic thing, such as ear piercing, circumcision, stuff like that. Personally, I mean, I don't care what you do with your kid, but with me, with my kids, I decided to let them make that choice for themselves. So I learned and I decided when I had another little girl that I wasn't gonna pierce her ears. I was just gonna let that be something that she chose as she grew older and little did I know that I would have a very, very persistent child about um, getting her ears pierced. Yes. What? So that brings us to today and I have since done my research and I know that going to an ear piercing gun place is not the place to go so we're not going to take her to Claire's. I followed the recommendations that a lot of other parents were giving me 
in terms of calling like a local tattoo shop and having someone who is trained in piercing ears with needles. I asked what time they open and they said noon. So it is 11.55, we're going to load up. I guess we're gonna go get our ears pierced. Where are we going? Are you excited? Yeah! Okay, um, so what they're gonna do is they're going to, I, I know we've talked about this before, but they're gonna take a little needle and they're gonna go poke and then you're, yep, yeah, and then you're gonna have your ears pierced. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's go. Please. Yes, I will. We've been holding her off with buying clip-on earrings. And so she has this collection of clip-on earrings that she puts on every single day. And every day at the end of the day, she cries because she doesn't wanna take them off because they like, you know, they, they hurt when they've been on your ears all day. So every single night, she's like, when do I get my ears pierced? When do I get my ears pierced? Because Lilia keeps telling her, oh, you should get your ears pierced like sissy. So we're gonna do it. Purple earrings. Purple earrings? You, you get to pick them out, okay? You get to pick out whatever earrings you want. Yeah, this is such a different experience like with Lilia. She was like two months old and we just like took her to the mall and they just like And then it was done. Aren't the guns like super like unsanitary or mm -hmm. something, right? Apparently, yeah, they're I like... I don't know anything about it. I, yeah, I didn't either and that's that was my mistake for not like researching it before I did it. It was just one of those things where you were like, oh, I have a girl and I want her ears pierced. So I'm just gonna go get yeah. her ears pierced, but apparently it's like... I've only gotten really my ears bad. pierced like never, so I don't know. Like never. <laughs> and like Lilia was fine and I was fine, but that's not always the case. I mean, you can get hit by a car and be fine too and that doesn't make it okay. Lilia's friend who lived next door to us, she was the same exact age as Lilia and she got her ears pierced like the same week and she had so many issues with it. Really? So many issues with it. So, yeah, because they pierced it wrong. First of all, they pierced it crooked and then maybe I should be talking about this in front of her. So for anybody who is interested, not that I care where you get your kids ears pierced, but it's like a thing. So if you're interested, like if I was watching this video and I didn't know, I'd want to know. Piercing with needles are far safer and less painful for body piercings. The pros of using a piercing gun is that it's easier to train someone to use them. It's convenient, um, like if you're doing it while you're at the mall shopping. Sometimes it's cheaper and oftentimes they can do two at the same time. That's what the pros are according to this website. The cons is that there can be major tissue trauma when piercing is performed with a gun. The piercing gun holds blunt studs. When these studs are forced through the tissues, it literally rips the tissue in order to make room for the jewelry. If your piercing will go through the cartilage and it, it can shatter with a blunt force, which we I found that out when Janelle got her ears pierced. Another con is that when a blunt stud is shot through your skin, it can get messy. A wipe of alcohol or an antiseptic pad is not going to remove all of the blood particles. Another con is that piercing guns cannot be properly sanitized. That was the big one that people were saying. So like when you're, you know, it's a risk of infection when you have other people's bodily fluids on it. Some claim that the instrument never comes into contact with the skin, but the piercer's hands do, and then they're touching the potentially contaminated gun and are further contaminating it with your blood. Another con is that mall employees and booth workers generally undergo a two-week course on how to use a piercing gun. It's not a lot of time to teach proper techniques for infection control or healing. When the gun pinches, the back of the jewelry is snugly in place, which doesn't allow any room for the piercing to breathe and heal properly. Um, I'm just reading these off of Google. Again, I have like no opinion. This is just why we decided to do the needle piercing. Piercing guns are also harder to aim properly, so the piercing is more likely to be crooked and inaccurate, which I've had several of my friends actually say that that was the case with them. Not me personally, and not Lilia personally, but a lot of people that I know. And we're here, so let's go in. Okay, so the mommy. Put it in here, she gets to sit on the bed on the right there. Yep. Yeah. Just like that. Oh, I got plenty of tattoos, huh? I should do a black and white once it's beautiful colored. That would be so neat. Just leave the outline. Yeah, that's a good idea. I should do that. I know you should. Just like a coloring book on your arms. Good job. That's it. Easy. No, that part. Right, I'm gonna draw on your ears now. To see where the ear is coming Little tiny ears are hard to. <laughs> 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 Little tiny ears are hard to. <laughs> wow. See, that's all I did. Just a dot. Just a little dot like that. Just okay. Like that. Now he's gonna do a dot on the other side. Good 
job, baby girl. Perfect, good job. <laughs> now I'm gonna put the dog on this side. I'm gonna sit right beside you, okay? So good. Okay, that's where the earrings are gonna go. You see where they're gonna go? Do you think it looks good? She's like, I don't know, you're the professional. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, you're ready for the earrings, huh? These are just for me to hold your ear. That's all that you do, okay? You want to put your finger out? You want to feel? See? You just go like that. See? Just to hold your ear. <laughs> That's all that does, okay? Perfect. What about that? You like that? Oh. oh, don't look! Look! We'll tell you when it's gonna hurt, okay? Good girl, I'm so Wow! Good. Look at you all nice and happy. I think the best part about it that she was comfortable doing it on the second, yeah. like the second ear. Like she cried because it hurts. Like when I got, right. I mean, when I got my ears pierced, it cried a little bit. I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna lie. But like she cried and then she like looked at it and she was all, okay, it's pretty. <laughs> and then she did the other side, and now she's happy. That was actually she's pretty happy. funny how she was like in the middle of crying and we're like, it looks so good. She goes, ah. <laughs> she's like, ah. she was crying and then looking at it and she's like, okay, we can do the other side. <laughs> I think just because they're old enough to like make the decision themselves doesn't necessarily mean that they're not gonna cry because it does hurt, well, it doesn't, you know? It doesn't, it also doesn't mean that they don't fully understand what it entails. Right, because we told her and they told her that it was gonna hurt and she knew it and she did it. She cried a little bit and then she was happy. People do stuff all the time that hurts and they, makes, they, want it, they still want it anyway. I don't know, that's just my, my um, mom self because a little part of me was sad because she was crying. But yeah. she was like so happy right after. Like she cried and then she was so happy. Was just, I can't believe she did it. It was just hilarious how she was in the middle of crying and we're like, it's so good. She goes, ah. <laughs> wait, but doesn't look cute. Okay. So we're gonna take her to go get some ice cream. Hey, won't you pour me another? I'm going in. So wish me good luck. Yeah, I gotta put on my favorite song. I need a boost. Let's turn up the love. Way too late, but I just can't get my eyes off of you. Maybe we will regret this, but tomorrow is another day. And I will do anything, I will do anything to get your love. Hey, won't you pull me another? Hi. Hey, Ad Addie has a surprise for you. Earrings. You got your earrings? Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> How did she do? She was so excited. She was like singing, I'm so excited. She's been wanting them for so long. Addy has a surprise for you. Really, give me five bucks and I'll tell you what it is. Five bucks. <laughs> okay, get in the back seat. Let's go, let's go. Hey, Sissy has a surprise for you. Look at him, he's so tiny in that big old tree. Look at him, and he just does it. It's like two and a half body lengths of him down to the ground. Oh gosh. Good job, buddy. You notice anything different about Sissy? She got her ears pierced. She got her ears pierced. And she got her ears. Now you can wear all Sissy's earrings. <laughs> my own <home> earring. <laughs> Did he cry? Yeah. Do you like wearing earrings? Yeah. Did you wear my earrings? What color did you get? Here. Okay, fine. She's not wearing it. <laughs> Off they go. Life hack, whenever you go shopping and you have a lot of groceries, use the wagon to bring them in. Chris has been doing this for the last like year. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna start dinner. Funny story for you guys really quickly though. I Instacarted um, some things from 
actually it was from Target yesterday, and which I had never used an inst I never used Instacart through Target. I, I it was actually not Instacart. I thought you were talking about me right now for a second. Oh no, my, here's my Instacart right here. I know he just went to the store. But we desperately needed some things yesterday. But before we could make our like normal trip to the store, he just, you know, got our necessities uh, right now. So I was shopping on what whatever it was. It wasn't Instacart, but it was something similar. I used that like crazy. I it's always like use Instacart. Target or something like that. A lot of the times online, it's hard to tell, especially with like fruits and vegetables and stuff. They do it like per pound, and I'm like, I don't know how to do per pound. Well, on there, I wanted potatoes, right? Because I made potatoes, something with potatoes last night. But I went to add five potatoes because it showed. Okay, so here's the thing: is it showed a picture of a potato, a single potato. And without thinking, I added five of them to my cart. So when the Instacart came, the Instacarter came with five bags of potatoes. So we're gonna have potatoes every single night this week because I did not realize that it was not single potatoes, but they only had a picture of a single potato. So I'm going to be making a cheddar, broccoli cheddar baked potato tonight. I've never done this before. Wish me luck. Hey babe, why are you looking at so many potato recipes? <laughs> Good. Are you gonna eat it, babe? All I can say is I'm glad it's not burnt. <laughs> Rude. Good thing my camera wasn't focused on you because I don't want to hear what you have to say anyway. Addie has something to show you. Your ears pierced. In a few weeks, you can change to pink or purple whenever you want to. Not yet, but in a few weeks. My birthday is right after your birthday. What's your birthday? My birthday. My birthday is March 7th. Yeah, we're both Pisces. As my kids are slowly losing all of their teeth and having their big teeth grown, I'm realizing which of our kids are gonna most likely need braces and which ones are gonna be okay. It looks like Tyson's teeth are gonna be super straight. Smile. Yeah, Landon, you can't tell yet because he doesn't have any teeth. Let me see. Smile. And then Caden's over there. Of course, yeah. another polar opposite with the twins. He's 100%. And, and I like the big <laughs> I'm the dentist, but he is definitely, definitely going to need braces. This one is. And it seems like Kyson isn't, which I'm not a dentist, so I don't know for sure. You don't have any teeth yet. I can't tell. They're not growing in yet. Dentist already said Lilia is going to need braces. And then Caden. Um, oh, definitely. Oh, cool. We just put all the kids in bed and I just did Addie's first ear cleaning thing. The guy at the shop told us to just use some antibacterial soap, kind of massage it on there and then let it um, soak for 30 seconds and then just wash it off. So those are the instructions that we got. I know normally, at least in the past, they try to sell you this like solution thing and he, was, and he told us that all you need is some antibacterial soap to do that and there's a couple other tricks, but we just washed it for the first time and she did great. Anyway, that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. Go comment my last Instagram post if you want to comment on this video since our comments are most likely still disabled and we'll talk to you guys in our next video. Bye!